Hey guys, this is me Ammar and welcome back to our channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a Wi-Fi jammer at home. I have seen so many tutorials over the internet but those videos are quite difficult to make. In this video I'm gonna explain in simple way to make a Wi-Fi jammer at home. So let's see what's special in this video. So what we have to do, let's see. We need these two files. ESP8266 author and not MCU flasher basically I uploaded these two files in my drive you can download from there and the link is in description after downloading this make sure to connect the not MCU board to your desktop or to your laptop ok so now I connected my Nord MCU board to my laptop. So first open the Nord MCU Flasher Master. Okay, then again click on this Windows 64 bit release. Okay, click on run. it takes few seconds ok so first we have to go in configuration ok now click on setting icon we have to add this bin file so click on this and then open ok after doing this we have to go in advance we have to change the value of baud rate change the value to this one ok then again back to operation and now flash the board ok so as you can see the our board is already flashed so disconnect the Nord MCU board. Before further I do, I am telling you again this video is for educational purposes only. Don't interrupt anyone's internet connection otherwise it will be considered a crime. So guys as you can see our Nord MCU board is connected with 5 volt adapter. Now what we have to do, we have to connect the cell phone with Nord MCU board. So I will turn on my Wi-Fi. And here you see a PWND pond named network. We have to connect with this, and the password of this network is DAuth. So, join it. All right, so it's connected now. Now, open browser any browser. I'm I will open Chrome and uh, we have to search uh, IP address and that is uh, 192.168.4.1 here you see a new page we have to click on I have read and understood the above notice we have to click on this and uh, it says to scan the Wi-Fi available networks so click on scan these three networks are available in my area so i will attack my own own wi-fi i'm not gonna try others so i make i selected my own wi-fi and as you can see this phone is already connected with uh, my wi-fi so i will click on attack So here you see three attack D auth beacon and probe request. So first I do D auth attack. So start. So as you can see in this phone, it's continuously connecting and disconnecting with the Wi-Fi network. And uh, if you want my opinion then a d auth attack is 
best and uh, stop now we will try second that is beacon attack if i start this uh, attack so you will see a random wi-fi names here as you can see so this was the video on wi-fi jammer tell me in comment below how is it i hope you guys like it if you like it then hit the like button and make sure to subscribe my channel for kinda stuffs i will see you guys in next video thanks for watching